a little bit of uh, how capacitors work. Uh, different types of capacitors, different uh, combinations. Now we look at how we can make the uh, capacitors more efficient, give them more energy, and then that brings us to the uh, next section, uh, which is the electrics. And so, <coughs> We need to know a little bit about this uh, electrics. That is, uh, we start with understanding the electric constant. So we can see that a charge power of electric constant. We can see that a charge power of electric constant. Having free space, having free space between the legs, so we draw a parcel. Then we can write a couple of things. But the capacitor is C naught. The capacitor C naught is defined as C naught equal to the epsilon naught A over D, where A And um, let's assume that uh, we introduce an insulating medium which we call the directory. So suppose an insulating medium Uh, due to a power plant capacitor, we drew our 
alienation here, we have our I along the X, J unit uh, F, uh, unit directly vector along the uh, Y as J proof. And then we were able to establish that using Gauss's um, So what if we introduce a directly an insulating material in between this area here? Previously, we got the potential in out when we have free space. We introduce an electric of permittivity design, so we want to know what goes on. So I'm just trying to, to, to and I'm going to it because I'm going to pull it off. So assuming we introduce a directory, which is an insulating material in between the, uh, the plates, it is an insulating material, but it still uh, permits electric field lines to go through. And uh, these electric field lines are going to do something which is going to be good. So I will uh, ask uh, the law, but the law is, is maybe in the open, maybe it's on the next part of the world. So I'm going to introduce the electric in the capacitor. Capacitance in the directly field capacitor or 
of the directive field capacitor of the directive field capacitor is greater than is greater than that of the uh, that of the uh, free space field capacitor. In other words, we find out that the CV, the directly field capacitance, capacitance of the directly field capacitor is greater than the capacitance of the free space field capacitance. We uh, are not for free space. What we say Psylon not, new not. We are using that to represent the uh, so we are experiments show that it's no doubt experiments show that but then we need to know why you know why we need to know the cause and then uh, find out a couple of things so this cd the directive capacitor cd is capacitance of a directory the last C mount is capacitance of a free space field last. So we got here. Uh, The directory constant is defined as, so that's what we look at, the directory constant is defined as epsilon r equal to capacitance with the directory to the, the ratio of capacitance with the directory to capacitance without the directory. So this uh, the, the information between the uh, these two plates uh, when we have a capacitor, I mean a, a directory in between the plates is VB. Thus we would have that um, C D C from C is equal to Q over V as the division of capacitance. CD will be the same as Q over VD and for the uh, capacitance, capacitor, capacitance of the capacitor field will be the free space will be the same as C naught equal to Q over V naught. Recall that not long ago, from the other side, CD is greater than C now. That is the case. Since it was experimentally thrown out, so more us, so we don't need to move the thing. Then it means that we shall get that uh, the, the ratio of uh, uh, QD and not QD, Q of uh, VD if if uh, if C D is greater than C naught, 
That means that uh, that if we substitute it, that means that Q over V D is greater than Q over what would be the relationship between V D and V naught? What do you, do you divide by small or big for this to be bigger than V naught is greater? So it means that when you introduce a directory, the potential that's what increases. And so this would imply that the V naught without the greater than with the directory. Hence the P B what? Hence the potential difference between the plates. Between the plates is reduced by the smell by the introduction of the directory. By the introduction of the directory. Of the directory. 
uh, the one facing the positive plate will be induced with negative charges and the one facing the negative uh, plate will be induced with the positive charges. You see they are now the opposite, so they produce their own field which is opposing the original field, meaning that now the total field in, the, in, the, in between your plates would be the sum of the two. And this is the sum of one which is positive, original, and then the other one which becomes negative because it's opposing it. So this is what happens. I just want to prove to you that I got a, an A in finance, nothing less. <coughs> I don't want to make you easy that you can't grow my screen. Just, I'm just proving to you that. So we are trying to explain why electricity density 
introduces or the introduction of an enslaved millennium, which we call a directive. So the moment you put it in, you have reduced charges on the on the plates because QB, these are bound charges, and then QF, these are free charges. They are free because they are on the plates of the capacitor, which are metallic, and then the charges are free to roam around within the metallic on the metallic plate. But if they lose this one of the directory, they are not free. It's an insulator. Charges are bound on it, but they are bound to be there because of the existence of the free charges that we are running around uh, the uh, plates. So the directory is believed to have been in, uh, polarized, and once it's polarized, the induced E is opposing this one, so the effective E finally becomes reduced. So the directory. The directric is said to be polarized. It's said to be polarized. The induced charges, the induced charges on opposite faces of the directric, on the opposite faces of the directric. Lead to an induced, lead to an induced electric field in energy. I never used to bounce. Me, I was a bookworm, 
The only thing that I could do was find out, but I was not, you would not find me, you know, showing off what I'm doing by now. I used to do my business at home. If, I'm, if I start closing while reading mathematics, I mean the physics or chemistry or geography, then I start drawing a piece. When I become fresh well, I start dropping numbers again. If I start dozing, I drop. When you are dropping, you can't doze because it's interesting. When you see stuff coming out, you don't sleep. So after the girls have cut off to this side and sit on the benches, whether sitting or standing near the benches, it is only the boys who used to mind or the footballers who have the guts to go pick the girl they and mine. For us, we will just do like this. Wait for when things are, are normal for us. Because we were nothing. You don't have, you don't mind, you don't play football, you draw fine art and late in the night, no one sees you. Uh, maybe I used to look nice, but I was not bothered. I used to chop my hair off like this now. So I was broke. So the boys bounce and then go to the girls and feed. It is when they should do it like and then the girl comes up like she's about to be swayed off by wind with all the hands and then wraps on the guy and then the guy also goes. So we wait until when the potential has reduced. That's when we join the dance. Before that, we are just there pretending, but if you go that girl and she just needs you and I, <coughs> you die a miserable man. So, we also type those uh, fake girls. There are some fake girls who know that no one can talk to them, so you wait so that uh, <laughs> at least you also speak one. Well. So, the, uh, that's an example of polarization. The potential between here that only allows the boys who have that kind of special thing to walk through is the kind of potential that happens here when there is induction of the uh, or when uh, charges are induced. So we we look at polarization of man. I enjoyed my school time in my limitations. I never used to, I used to do things for myself. Anything that I, I, I desired, I would make it myself. If I desired a, a success card, I would grow it. So, I'm not like these kids of recent, of these days who anything, they want to go to a shopping mall. They can't even make a toy. They can't get boxes and make something, which is funny. Everything they have to buy, it, it dies, you have to buy, they can't even repair. For us, we get dry cells, or national dry cells, they have some plastic thing there, they have the cup, the graphite rod, then you make a cup. With nice tires, shining. And uh, if my pencil, if I wanted to shade with a nicer thing, I think it is a bit uh, poisonous, but I used to use that thing in the, in the barrels for shading. Oh, leaking, what are you doing leaking the, the, the picture I have wrong? So it used to be nice to be wrong. I would wish my kids to do their own things. These things go, buy me a doll which goes. So, under normal circumstances, Mara is neural. Human beings should be neural. You should not be, you can't imagine the hajats, when you talk about their religion, they want to just rip you off. Then uh, these ones, like this one, if I talked about uh, Virgin Mary and they say, how can a virgin produce somebody, you would want just to get, take a stone and beat me. Uh, then uh, the Kenepen Kosto here, the Rabbi Shahara, those who think that they can talk to God. <laughs> In the Kenya, someone told them, you know what? You stop and die and go to heaven. And I think he, he tried, it is nice. You can't go to heaven without dying, can you? So die, you take poison or whatever, and die and go to heaven if you think you go to heaven. So about 95 now are dead. So his lawyer said, how do we know that they are not in heaven? 
you are saying the man killed people, he, <laughs> he committed a crime. He promised his people to go to heaven, starve and go to heaven. How do you know they are not in heaven? So how is the government going to prove that people never went to heaven, which he promised them? <laughs> so that guy is going to, is going to survive the, the massacre he has made. He promised them to go to heaven. If you can go to heaven and check the records and they are not there, then you can sue him and charge him. <laughs> but when you were just born, you were in Europe. Those who take booze now, you know some parents get booze and put a finger and put on the mouth of the kid. And when the kid starts rolling the eyes, slowly the kid gets used. It's especially the, the elderly people, they, they do that normally. I have been with people from the, the East, <laughs> so I know those who make a lot of those especially their kids, they want their kids to grow know that this is our trade, so they put a finger and put on the, on the tongue, so the kid now starts getting used. I find you doing that to my kid, I slaughter you. I don't take those. I told you when I left it. Even before I wasn't taking it, but when I thought I started making money, I thought I would do something. So, it is until when you, into, you are introduced to class that you start now pretending to want to speak in English, think in English. So you get polarized. When somebody uh, ties a buffalo, you laugh. If I came here and I make a buffalo, you are like, no, no, that's not, it. and you would be the first one to say, no, no, that is not the word. Like when I say Z, and you are like, no, it is Z. Because now you are polarized. You are polarized to think that it is Z. Religion is polarization. Uh, politics is polarization. Before anything came, I mean, before we knew about who is DP, who is UPC, who is LRF, life was known. Until when now you start saying, hey. and then there's, there's a way they make it attached. Oh, UPC are the. The Protestants, DP are the Catholics, then I don't know, thieves maybe. Then, uh, I don't know how you would, uh, you know, categorize me. Before all that, you are new. So, new mana, new mana is made up of little qualities, is made up of equal. One is of positive and negative charges. Now, if an electric field is applied, if uh, an applied electric field <coughs> is introduced to this neural model to the neural model the positive and negative charges undergo relative displacement. Undergo relative displacement, a situation known as Some girls will run away. Of course, they ran away and boys, it was a rule. It's not that. But of course, <coughs> that was uh, like when the dancing started. But when the other songs are played in, slow songs, you don't again disappear. You've now gotten used. You know now it is squeezy. 
So if you were dancing in Ingara with some girl shaking her name, slow song goes and she doesn't want to, she just stands like this and walks the other side or looks for whoever she wants to be squeezed with. And that is what we call the relative displacement. So the moment you introduce an applied electric field, sorry, here I am, it's missing. To this neuro mother, we were dancing in Europe. Everyone was dancing, this one danced this way, you turn try to show each other the faces which are funny. And then the slow song is brought in. If she didn't want to squeeze you, she will just slide away. And also, boys, there are you, some of us who do not want to be touched. So you just come in here and don't talk somewhere. It's not that it is a must that for us we are there to be touched by everybody. So for the case of the dielectric, for the case of the dielectric, the charges are not the charges are not small displacement, and those small displacement. Maybe we take the, uh, like if we have a good conductor, we take it uh, like an easy, an easy going gun. Eh? So if it is a, I'm sorry, I'm just using this as an example. For her, if you, if you squeeze her, her mind will go berserk. But if she was to be, let's consider a, a directive to be like a CFD. Eh? Because it is a social chance to squeeze you, but she's squeezing you, but saying, Lord, help me not to mess, keep me safe. So there's some small relative displacement. Displacement is very small. So the safety problem is the, the direct we are talking about. But for the new mother, any mother like a male, <laughs> you squeeze her once, she's like, she wants to go with you in the host. <coughs> Charges for the council, hence in Europe. If you apply or an applied electric field is introduced to this neuro matter, positive and negative charges are more relative displacement. And this question is what we come as polarization, from power getting polarization of matter. And uh, if it is the case of a dielectric, which is an insulated material, we have a teeny little bit of uh, the other was tiny displacement, and uh, we say once that happens, we say that the dielectric has been polarized. All in all, we have three types of polarization that we shall be interested in. So, in the general, there are the polarization of matter. I didn't, I didn't either. 
นี่เอาพี่เล่าไอ้แฟเถอะก็จะเดินเล่นไปชุดเดินโยนกินอะไรดูว่า just be home rest feed up when you are white so that you get enough immunity l e t i s when you get married okay when you produce a child rest feed the child up six years you will not regret your child will be immune to most of the diseases your child will be smart upstairs Do you want to have a stupid child or tight boots? Which one works for you? There are people who have stupid children. <laughs> Very stupid. You say bring the spoon, they bring a, a pen, a pencil. Forget about uh, autism or whatever. Those are special cases. But there are kids who are just dumb. <laughs> They just took porridge and uh, some milk, which is in the water. They, so they can't k n o w l e d g e at all. So, but everything is in the in your factory. Here. Give your children breast milk. The figure you think you are making, it will not make your man just be with you forever. She, he can always go, but your child is yours forever, and the benefits will always live with you. So you can choose to be a model. And have stupid children, or secretly children. Ah, sorry. <laughs> We have a little. You have a little. So, so polarization can come from electronic, ionic, or d i o n i c What I was trying to talk about of the we came when we are what now we are civilized is the alienation. So we have the three uh, being uh, electronic. When we have displacement of uh, centers of mass, and uh, <coughs> the other one is ionic. When we have a crystal, and we are having a displacement of a l i n e s n a n o n s and then the one which I really want to uh, use your example is the dipolar or the alienation. So. The culture is dying slowly, but for us who came when this place was still the place, we were given o n l y a nation. During o n l y a nation, and for you, you came. But did you come? Did you come when the COVID was still around? You are 21, 22. Well, maybe things have subsided a bit. For us, it was normal. You in every morning you go jogging. Sometimes you collect so that you can abuse each other, so that you get some some skills on how to, you know, if you went to a football match. And when you go for a football match, it is official for us because our motto was we either win or they lose. So we have to line up on the on the line of the goal of the opponents. For us, we tell the striker just make sure the ball is towards the keeper. For us, we shall count the ball. So before the ball reaches the keeper, for us we go to celebrate. That's the goal. <laughs> so uh, the r e f e r e s that they, if you don't want to count the ball, I mean the ball we shall go. That game is gone. Then the Lumumba is Lumumba still there or it is now? <laughs> Lumumba was known for having a thick line, leading large, thick and short. So that was the culture. You would know if, you, if somebody said I'm a m u m b i s t You'd know if you are in a workshop. You know that you would take a lot of food, so you don't mess up with the guy. If a guy tells you I'm from Northport, you know that one. Uh, he will get whatever he wants. No jokes. We are serious people. I don't know Uma. Anyone from Uma? I don't know what you live for. Or living store. I a gentleman. UH was was uh, didn't have anywhere. Before. <laughs> At least the uh, UH are many living s o m e w h e r e gentlemen, and the, but UH I don't know the mutuals are mutual rats whatever. So I don't know why they call them rats. Me if that would mean uh, that I would refuse. <laughs> so I was put in the statesman. We were statesmen. So that was only a nation. That we were p o l a r i z i n g They were y e l i n g at us. They told us uh, for us we did not want any relationships. 
Yeah, Afro Stone, Boombox, Beatrix, that nonsense. For us, we had to do books. We did have to do, and we did books. Because over here, they were trying to change the world from North Pole to Sliwa, so they put all the technical medicine, medicine, BSC, BSC. We were all packed there, so we didn't have time for nonsense. We were always in books. Always. We didn't have social science who are always, we had a few of them, but the majority were science. So we were oriented. This is the diaphora oriented. So you have a material which has electronic dipoles, like either ammonia, is that, is that ammonia? Water or nitrogen oxide? And when you have these type of moments, you have, at the beginning, you have this oriented in different directions. You come with all sorts of nonsense, both from Gayaza, uh, Namamunga, Nabingo, it's like, you, you, you want to be independent, they told you you can be independent. You don't need a man, that's why we are training you alone. Then you reach here, you see some guy, you get a crush. Then you, you still have those problems. So until when you're oriented in the direction that you are now at campus, you are in Africa, we have gentlemen, if they come to bench, you have to feel free and don't, don't abuse them because they are ours. When there is a dance for Afro Storm, you have to make sure that you, if he's, if he's a gentleman, you have to be make, make sure you are elected. That's the nation. So until when you apply directly field, when you apply directly field, here it is not applied, then they align themselves in a the more and if you feel applied this would be positive, this would be negative because of the other. So the orientation of these charges would make sure that the negatives are this way. Because it would be an opposite of what is possible. Then here we are positive, then here. Now you know at 8 there is a lecture. On a Monday there is a lab or Friday, whichever group you are in. BFT never dodges. He never comes late. So you have to be here before he comes. That's for your nation. You are polarized now. You know what you are supposed to do. So we start with the first one, which is electronic polarization. And uh, here this arises from the displacement. This arises from the displacement of the uh, center of the mass. The displacement of the center of the mass. Of positive. Of positive. And negative charges. <coughs> that we are previously new. That we are previously new arrows. Uh, 
And then uh, this is where we have the applied equal to zero components. This is equal to zero. And then it is here where we have, when we have applied it, it's not equal to zero. So we can put the, the vector for making sure that we, because we are showing the direction of this. So we apply the zero here, this transforms into we have an electron cloud here. Electron cloud. You have a bunch of electrons in the shell. And the shell, this is the mass of the number of the uh, nucleus, and then this transforms into a displacement. This will displace a little bit of this and also displace a little bit of this. So we draw the other part. Then we have the uh, applied. This 
separated from this placement of Karayans and Menas. Not Karayans, we have a chemistry which I will say. Today we are going to study about Karayans. It's Karayans. Karayans and Anayans of Anayan. Of Anayanic. I know I don't care checking whether I've written the right stuff because everything is on board. As long as I explain if the, the accuracy can be determined on where the maths are there. I'm sure the maths are well written and uh, expanded. So the, the, this arises from displacement of Kerens and Anayans of Anayanic crystal and uh, this happened in a sense, I mean, due to the presence of electric field, in the presence, the presence of an applied electric field, an applied electric field, of course, which has, a, which is electric field mentally, the applied. So we got a crystal which has uh, an arrangement of the uh, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. This is when the uh, applied field equals to zero, which will transform in pair enough of these charges. So we got, uh, this is four by three, those are 12, so I need six pairs. The electric field in energy is, now is applied, it is no longer zero, it is applied in this direction, so we don't have the negatives always on the left side as they pair up. So we get the negative here, positive, somewhere here negative, positive, somewhere there negative, positive, somewhere negative, positive, one, two, three, four, we can have some, some other one here. Maybe I can put the other one around here. We pair that together. And then we will now say that all that will be polarization. So this is ionic crystal. This is an ionic crystal. The last one, three, is the uh, dipolar, dipolar or orientational, dipolar or orientational polarization. This occurs mostly in the marillions. This arises in the marillions.
common electric dipoles. E.g. water. E.g. water. Nitrogen oxide. So this is just to make sure, and, and, and when I give you this, I expect you to go to Google and understand what common electrons are. Don't just grab my stuff and you are like, oh, take all the moments. This arises in materials with the common electron moments, which is water, and cold, and NH3. You never do anything reasonable if you are doing that. Just there in the library that is the crowd. Just go to my Wi-Fi and search about permanent dipoles. Understand them. Go to YouTube, look for a video about permanent dipoles, or polarization. Look at how other guys are explaining it. So then in the absence of an applied, the absence of uh, an applied electric field. The dipoles are randomly weighted. The dipoles are randomly oriented. Arranged. Due to thermal agitation, due to thermal agitation, and you need to uh, read need about this and thermodynamics. Thermal agitation. At room temperature, you have particles moving around because of that room temperature. They are unsettled. And uh, when you apply on application, an application of electric field density or any so an electric field be applied, the dipoles will align. The dipoles get aligned. We can say that they get arranged. So we draw the demonstration of that. Then I normally suffer like this and put an X. 
So if a little, logically, if a little thing is going this way, that means when eventually they are being aligned, it is because the negatives are being attracted to the positive producing the field and the negatives will be, I mean the positive will be attracted to the negatives that are producing the field. So we've got four of them, one, two, three, four. So I will arrange them as minus says are being attracted by the, the, the cause of the field. And then the same applies here. Then we have the final here, because it is being attracted to the one which is. So you must make sure that you understand how these negatives and positives are coming up. Some people, you find here is negative, here is positive. They have already done nicely like that, aligned with them, but then they are having opposite charges. Positive, negative, negative, positive. Positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative. And then I just do like this. Plus, how to know where the, uh, once you put an arrow facing the other direction that you have applied a field that means positive is this way, negative is that way. And then it means the other side will attract positives because that's where the negatives are that are producing the field. And then this side will be attracting the negatives because that's where the positives are. Now I'm teaching you as if uh, to make sure you remember it in the exam instead of making you understand what is going on. Yes. So the difference between the two is the difference is the difference is the 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 so the cations and anions are just sodium and chloride uh, anions, they are in the crystal, they are existing there. Before you apply the field, they are mixed. You can't say this side, there is chlor the chlorides are this side and then the sodium is this side. They are mixed everywhere in the crystal. Now when you apply the field, then they, they pair up. They pair up, they go near each other. They come closer, get closer. Yeah. But as you can see, when you are growing, they make sure that the negative is towards the positive that produces the field. Whereas these ones are dipoles, they are electric dipoles. Remember our type, our electric dipole, which we had where we had a Q minus a positive Q at a distance there between. They became a dipole and they were producing the field. And this results from materials like water, nitrogen oxide, and ammonia that have electric dipole uh, dipoles. When in the magnetism, a magnet is able to be made because it has magnetic dipoles. It has the north and the south. And then when you have an unmagnetized iron, then you have it disoriented like that. Once you you know, either use stroke method or use uh, electric method by putting it in the solenoid, then you align all the dipoles in one direction. So the, where they point, that's the north, because that's where the field will be coming out. And then where they are entering from, that's the south. That's after you have oriented them. And so, but here we are looking at this polarization resulting from electric dipoles. So, Magnetism and electricity are the same, but for different reasons. I don't know. Magnetism seems to be a bit crooked, but uh, electricity part uh, seems to be the straight part. Because when we go to uh, magnetism, like currents attract, whereas they are like currents repair. Because the fields are different, when you have like currents. I don't want to turn into the future. Any other question? So we know that when we have an electric and we expose it into a field or to a field, charges get induced. When charges get induced, it also establishes its own field, which reduces the whole thing. So we can use them in our capacitors. That's the essence. We are doing all this to make sure that benefit from this.
Now, before we benefit from this, we need to know how the polarization is taking place. We need to know the polarization center when you have a material, how is polarization taking place? When a, a, a political figure comes here, what do you prefer? You prefer him, you know, being uh, eloquent and, you know, having a nice speech? Do you like him just bringing logistics and you just chew and you get t-shirts and caps and overalls? Or do you want somebody who comes and makes you electrified? Feel like you can even go anywhere in the world and give a speech. So we start by looking at the uh, polarization vector. What is it about that uh, makes a Madidio polarized? So we look at electric polarization vector. And we shall use the capital of G for that. Remember, when we were looking at the dipole, electric dipole, we used small p for the uh, dipole moment. Electric dipole moment. This one, we had a small p which was equal to the limit. As you make these charges come near each other, and then the charge times the uh, distance between these two uh, charges. For meridians, for meridians, with one species of errors, with one species of errors, or more They are on the sodium or they are on the chlorine. That means we can get the polarization as the number of these times the electric dipole moment, where at the end is the number of the uh, atoms, the number of atoms by unit volume. And then P, like we had seen before, is the induced, the induced atomic dipole moment. So we get here. So that's the definition of polarization vector for now. That it is the same as the number of atoms you got times the aerobic dipole moment. How do they pair up? All you, all you are seeing is that uh, for electronic uh, polarization, we got the uh, electron cloud being displaced, I mean the uh, electron uh, mass and the nucleus, the mass of the nucleus, their center of mass is being displaced. And then uh, that means there was some displacement that caused the, uh, the polarization. For the ionic crystal, we got these uh, kerns and anions being displaced and now pairing up. And for orientation apart, for any permanent or any marine of the permanent dipoles, we got them now aligning themselves in a line. So, after we have got it now, then we look at it. the notes. It was a bit, I didn't like it because the heading was uh, surface bound charge density and polarization vector, but the, the, the expression is having rho B and uh, P, where rho B is volume. So, those of you who are probably have uh, open from where I change it to volume bound charge density. Uh, which is rho B and polarization vector. And polarization vector. 
So we, we want to know how are these two related. We refer to this bound. So when we look at the bound, that is what comes in the of when we have a, a directly being polarized. So charge is bound to be there because it was induced by free charges. So we refer to sigma B. And rho B as the bound charge as the bound charge delivers. If you want to know more about this stuff, because this is a uh, even uh, Professor Banda's book is not elaborated, but look for his teacher. His teacher was the Arthur, uh, Arthur Kip, Arthur F. Kip, uh, which is the fundamentals of the electricity and magnetism. But if you go to that book, you will be able to read, read those stories, those, that small story of how something is coming up, or how he understands it as a, uh, an author, the way I understand my baking theory. It makes you now also start reasoning and see how you can. We come from different places and we are exposed to different environments and different occurrences that then help us to understand. Somebody who grows up watching uh, violent movies, everything they see, they look at, they want to solve it with violence. And you grow up watching Swazmega, so Commando, everything, you want to grow stuff. If you if you want so if somebody like if a neighbor a neighbor's kid comes and is becoming fake you, you find the kid is getting a spade from the house once you just put the uh, the guy's hair but if somebody is born from a nice uh, religious family when they wrong them they say well if they are Catholics they start doing this Mary Magdalene help us this children <laughs> so read and understand how the guys in electromagnetism, the, uh, what the author says, we are going to attack this problem. I'm wondering, you're going to attack a problem. Are you having that shit so what? But that's how he expresses himself. Because for them, for him and his students, we are used to attacking problems. When there is a question, they will attack it with uh, using this approach. So read through so that you understand. Here we are trying to define the bound charge density, the surface charge density, and the volume charge density. And then we refer to, this is a summary. Otherwise, we could have said that when a, a, a directory is polarized, then a, a, inside the whole of this uh, directory, you have a volume bound charge density being created inside. And due to this polarization, so the relationship between the two would be that as you are moving within this, the bound charge density will reduce as you are going or diverging into the, the material. But you will find a lot of surface charge density, uh, a lot of charges are on the surface. As you go deep into trying to polarize into the material, it reduces. So if you try to diverge, the polarization, the blue polarization to reach out as far as possible in the material, then the bound charge density will be reducing. Because it will not be uh, going on in a better way. So we refer to sigma free and rho free, we are introducing it as the free. And uh, these are free charge densities. So now that we have defined them, in particular, we shall find that in a material, the bound charge density, volume charge density will be the same as the reduction of the divergence of the polarization. As you try to reach out in the material and go in the uh, as much as possible, then you are the divergence reduces. Divergence of B equals to minus rho B. 
the charge density reduces as you try to diverge, as you try to reach out to polarize the material. Once you have the material in between the, uh, the blades, that directory, the, the, more, the more you diverge, the lower the charge density will, uh, will be. So I want you to, I, to don't cram. Don't cram. Don't just be there and say, for rho b it is equal to minus the divergence of, of p. If you forget whether it is rho b and you mistake it to be sigma b, it's not a thing. But you know, as you are in the material, the more you diverge to polarize it, the density reduces because you are going wider in you know, the material. Once you know that in that form, remembering it is not a problem. And of course, where the uh, rho b is the volume charge density, where rho b is the bound volume charge density. And then the E is the polarization depth. When you came here as freshers, especially the girls, okay, the ladies, since now you are ladies, you have finished their semester, so you are ladies. But when you came, you were girls, isn't it? Very innocent, carrying a khaki, uh, a khaki envelope. You wouldn't hide that you are a fresher. Maybe after COVID things change, but before COVID, our times, even if you, are, you have been in the Makerere College or uh, Caltech or whichever school is around the city, and maybe even if your, your father is a professor here, there is no way you could, people could fail to know you are. Uh, a fresh, you have to carry, you are proud to carry your, and you don't know that it is one of the identifying uh, instruments that you are carrying. You are carrying around uh, an envelope, your envelope with the admission label, and you are proud. I've been admitted in civil engineering. <laughs> but it is an indicator, it is your ID that you are, this is a fresh. But even the walking, you don't even know the, the you don't know the way to walk because you are not able to it. You don't know which fashion you are still having the other, or you have now moved a week, but it is looking like as if you are, as if you are, I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, you are susceptible. You are going to education, you are around Mumba, probably we are coming from. Chikoni and then you're asking a Mumba guy where is education, he it's okay, let me go and show you. He says, first say, okay, let me pick something. You go with him in Mumba, maybe you don't, you don't even reach a uh, school of education that way. So that's what uh, brings us to, you are socially, you are socially susceptible to problems. In the uh, electricity and magnets, we call this electric susceptibility. Electric susceptibility. When hostels came, things changed. Now girls are brought in the hostel bus, they park there, they are on WhatsApp, they, they go to lecture room from there, they earn. I don't think many people roam around. I mean, for you who are residents, Government, I like to roam around, but the hostel people just come in a bus. I don't know how you survive. Anyone here who comes in a bus from the hostel, how would you survive? Can't you do exercise? Just walk with your boots, come here and go back to the hostel for doing exercise. I wash my car to make sure I, I, have phys I become physically fit. By the time I finish it, I'm sweating, I'm tired, I take a bath and I'm okay. I've saved the money for the gym and the money for the washing, those washing tools at the bed. 
wash him there. I call them fools because some of them had already started. They were laughing at those who were reading. Some, some had opportunity to start it. But they were laughing at those who were bookworms. And now they are washing the cars. Others uh, sweep the roads in the KCC. Some of them were saying, are you going to be Einstein? You read that you are going to invent something. Now they are washing the They are cleaning, sweeping the roads. They had opportunity to stop them. So when you hear me tell, saying that those fools don't think that I'm bragging or I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm mocking them. I'm not mocking them. I started with a bunch of people who had opportunity. But they were enjoying life. They want to go dancing. Even you. There are some of you for you. You are always at the club. You are not doing kind of complimentaries. When someone says, I'm going to the library, you laugh. Are you out of fun? <laughs> so, and, uh, and life is funny. In the, when, when you are fresh as here, you are susceptible. Then when you reach that year, you are off layers. Everyone is looking at you as useless. When you go to schools, when you are finished and you are now new teachers, you become fresh as again. Teachers buy you meats for, for tea. Teachers should tell you where, the, where to get the skin books. You know, you will find life is, is nice. I think when you, I don't know which other step now goes on. That's how life in life is always what has come old, then it come new at one time, like fashion, how fashion is. So now you are no longer susceptible. In, uh, is it August? That's when we shall have another social susceptible. Like Masarika will be now saying, now I've been broke for all this time, I hope I'll get a fresher now. Because he's uh, bumping on the susceptibility. So when an electric The dielectric is placed in an applied field. In an applied field. The average electric field in energy, the average electric field in energy.
Now, if this is the earth, so I will draw Africa here. So, the, uh, <coughs> the sun is here. This is the sun. When the moon is here, these two guys are shaking the earth. The rain is more. When the moon is here, these two guys are shaking the earth, but now the affected area is there. So that's why you hear Philippines, China, typhoons, when you have typhoons. That side. When it is full moon, the sun is, the moon is here, the sun is here, the, the gravitation is this way, it is not so much. Unless if it is like a super moon. A super moon is when it is near. Then the shaking is, it is uniform. Disasters happen almost uniform everywhere. When it is here, then you have this one, and then you have Mozambique, Zimbabwe getting, uh, how are they calling it? Cyclones. Okay? I don't know whether you understand. That's how I determine the, the rain forecast. Now they have just told people that it is going to rain too much in May. And they have just said that today it is going to shine, more is going to shine even more. It is it's going to start shining more. Until when we reach the on the something like seven or so. Because if this is uh, 28, it could be fifth or sixth. That's when it will it may reveal. Then to shine again. So they are going now to say when is the rain you promised that it's going to be alone. Because we are now almost getting it. Right. Because they don't know how rain comes. By the time the satellites get the rain, I know that it is going to come. Because I know what is causing it. And I'm going to almost. I'm going to almost this theory. You go to Google. If you find it, you come up with it. But I said, I post, like now the rain focus for May is already there, on the Twitter. This time I skipped, I'm normally posting it on the 24th, I skipped, I, I sent it on the 26th. But I sent it anyway. And the one of April was perfect. It happened that today is the climax, today is the last day of the, and it drizzled last night, I mean yesterday, the, that drizzling of yesterday, was the last bits of what had gone in the skies. So today it has to shine to take more up there and maybe have some, but it is going to be struggling to go back. By the time it comes, that's when maybe it will be a bit sounding like what they announced. So when the electric is placed in an applied electric, average the electricity density acting on an individual atom or molecule is known as the elon. So if we have a malarial, I can help. Not, not a If we have a malarial with elms, then if we have molecules or elms inside, and we apply a electric field, then this, this, this is what we call elon. But I am going to start saying that uh, you, let me first see what I'll be saying. Do this on your own, do this on your own. Uh, but we are moving. Are we moving slowly or quickly? Some are faster. We have some progress. So this is the key logo for an individual. So they lose. They lose a rolling dipole moment is given as T is equal to alpha E logo. The rest of this part of the course, of this section of the course is algebraic gymnastics. It's not a big we all know how uh, the directory behaves 
once it is within a reference phase. Whatever we are doing is just a little uh, master to get relationships uh, between different parameters. So where alpha, where alpha is known as the polarizability, is known as the aerobic or molecular polarizability. And for linear the, the atomic dipole moment will be that local electric field in density multiplied uh, by the Q1 indicator with the vector That you know about is uh, when you multiply it with the polarization that ability of the uh, ability of the for arrays, then you get the, 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 the economic or molecular type uh, of moment. So, for linear, I introduce you to new words. For linear, this one you know, isotropic and homogeneous meridios. But to be specific, directives then E local will be equal to the E applied plus B over the side of that times the polarization that will have resulted this process. For linear, linear is, uh, I think, uh, how do you, how can, what is the neutral meaning of linear, just uh, in the layman's language? Namukas. You are Namukas. Uh, what is, if you were to explain to uh, an S6 chart linear, how would you explain it? Like if, if, if you were to explain a linear material, how does it look like? Something that is? Something that is not complex. Complex meaning what? Okay, what is something like complex? Because I don't know. What is an example of a complex thing? Yes? I think the one you use comes from the one I like. Like, so it is like something that is measurable. Something that is Okay. Whatever, you go to Google and find an order to use it. But um, um, I want you to understand isotropic. Isotropic means that in whichever direction you go to in this material, properties are the same. That's the definition of isotropic. And then homogeneous is uniform. Homogeneous is uniform. So E local will be the applied one plus B. B is just about the geometry. And of course, this is the uh, permittivity. And then time to polarization. The rest is now at the right of the I'm going to be talking. So where B is a constant which depends on the geometry. Are you sure it is there? Or your problem is there? One minute. But this today you normally don't have anything to do. I always see you being lousy. 
we shall start from there the gymnastics on the on the Tuesday after Labor Day, and then where we would have stopped, uh, that's where the test will start on the Friday. Where we will stop on Tuesday. So don't disturb me to delay me not to not stop far away. And uh, today I overthought, that's why I couldn't follow time because. Um, My paper, my attendance list,